I know, dear friend, you have heard about this for a long time. Yes, your mind might be telling you, hey, don't listen. It is just the same old story. But dear friend, this time it's real. Jesus is coming back. Have you prepared your soul for him? Have you prepared your heart for him? Have you prepared your body for him? Or do you want to be like the foolish virgins in the Bible who forgot to oil their lamps while waiting for the bridegroom to come? They forgot to watch. They forgot to pray. They forgot to prepare themselves. In John 14, verse 2 to 3, Jesus made a wonderful promise to the disciples and us. He said he was going to prepare a place for us in heaven. Have you checked yourself? Are you prepared? Do not allow the pleasures of this world take you away when Jesus comes. Do not be the tares but the wheat that will be harvested on that day. Are you being one of those people in someone's life? Are you being an instrument that God can use to touch those who do not yet know God? As Christians, you need to know that the people who do not yet know the Lord are not the enemy. The devil is the enemy. Those who do not know Christ yet are held captive by the devil's power in 2 Timothy 2.26. God values every human soul. Everyone is valuable before God's eye. God wants to reach those people whose lives are messed up. Every soul is valuable to God. He loves us dearly to give his begotten son to die for our sins. If we are not careful, the delay of Jesus' return will lead to complacency. But living in the expectation that he will return compels us to live every day for what really matters, for eternity. This world with all its busyness and worries may want to pressure us to take our eyes off Jesus. Troubles will threaten to weigh us down and circumstances will try to distract us. But we must lift our eyes to Jesus, who has made us more than conquerors. Romans 8:37. Let everything you do be motivated by the knowledge that Jesus will return. Be sure you are living in the state of preparedness so that you will not be caught by surprise when he comes. Jesus said in Luke 12, 35, be dressed ready for service and keep your lamp burning. We need to live in anticipation for his coming. Having our lamps burning, letting the light of Christ shine forth out of our lives. We are to be alert and awake, understanding the times. Jesus said in 1 Thessalonians 5, 2, that his arrival will be like a thief in the night. That means his coming will take everyone by surprise. Do not be like a person who is busy building his nest here on earth, too distracted to have time for Jesus. If we really love Jesus as we claim to, we should remain faithful and vigilant for his coming in every day, every hour, and every moment of our lives. Are you ready for Jesus to come back? Are you ready to do what it takes to reach people who are lost? We see all the happenings in the world today. This shows that Jesus is coming back soon. Are you ready? If Jesus is your Lord, you will obey his word and spend time with him. If Jesus is your Lord, you will seek his will, not your own. We need to be ready for him. The readiness, the deep-rooted preparedness that comes in having intimate relationship with Jesus Christ, our Savior. Have you sat down to ask yourself, what will Jesus see when he gets here? Will he be pleased by how we are living our lives? Are there things we need to change to make our lives acceptable to him? Even though we don't know when exactly the time or day Jesus will return, we don't need to lose heart but to remain steadfast, anchoring our hope in the promise of a new heaven and a new earth. Because eternal glory of God awaits us if we embrace the gospel of the kingdom, keeping our lamps burning bright, ready for our Savior's return. Unfortunately, many may look prepared because they have lamps, but they won't be prepared because they have no oil in them. As Christians, we need to stay ready in the word, in prayer, stay living for him so that you will always be found ready and not wanting. My question for you is this, do you know Jesus Christ? Why do you neglect his calling over your life? Are you willing to prepare for his coming? 
So dear friend, if you have not given your life to Jesus, this is the time to do so. Pray this aloud. Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins and I surrender my life to you. Wash me clean with your blood, for I believe that you died on the cross and rose again for my victory. I receive you now as my Lord and personal Savior. Fill me with your spirit and power. Have your way in my life in Jesus' name. Amen. Congratulations, you are now a child of God, as you have received Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Try to study the Bible to get to know him more. Keep God first in your life as we prepare to meet the Lord. Thanks for watching. Stay blessed.